All right, y'all, I'm attempting to do an embroidery with the baseball cap. And I have this clipped on. I have it centered best I can. This is my first time doing a hat, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have no earthly idea. But um, I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm going to see what I got. And now I see what I'm having an issue is. I'm going to have to try to I guess get it up under here. I put it on before I even did that and I can already see it's going to be a problem getting it trying to slide it under here. Oh. Um, nope. I got it. No problem, thank goodness. Alright, and I am going, you know what? My clip ain't going to let me be great, y'all. Because it's in the way of me snapping on. So, I'm going to have to take this off for the moment. And I'll have to figure something out. But let me just snap it on here. And see. What I might have to do, I can already see now that it kind of turned crooked when I had the end. Yeah, I can see where it kind of turned crooked. And I gotta make sure I keep the sweatband out of the way, make sure I don't stitch that down. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna worry about this clip what I'm gonna do let me go ahead and take my thread out because I'm gonna change it with some other embroidery thread um, hold on a second where's my thread Thread. Just give me one second. Let's see what color I want to stitch it. Um, I'm using a box of this in Broadax. Of course, everything is backwards to you guys, and I should have reversed my camera, but I didn't think about it. And my goodness, I'm not going to start over again. I'm sorry. Um, this is the box of embroidery thread that I've gotten. I got it from Amazon. You get 40 spools of polyester embroidery thread. And it gives you a color chart, the one that I just showed you. This comes in the box. Focus. All these colors come in the box. And then just give me a minute and let me pick out which color I am going to use. I'm more of like a pink girl. So I'm sure I will probably use some type of pink. Which would probably be this neon pink right here. So this is what I'm going to use. And give me a second because a lot of it unwind in the box. I'm just winding it back up. But anyway, you guys, it is like maybe after one or two, I took my watch off so I could charge it. But it's probably like one or two in the morning. And yeah, I'm up. Of course, doing what I do best late at night. I'm always crafting late at night. And plus, I'll start my midnight shift next week. Um, Sunday coming up, so I'm just getting my body ready for that midnight shift that I got coming Sunday night because I work uh, 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. Oh gosh, what did I do? Oh, this thread is a mess from having it in the box like that. Oh. I feel like it's coming from two places or a few places and I have no idea and this is gonna mess me up 
when I'm trying to sew it's going to get tangled up. I know it is, you guys. I hope not. I'm going to try to keep it out of the way if I can. And I'm going to try to wrap this up. Oh, God. All right, y'all. I know it's Friday the 13th. And maybe it's just not a good night for me to be trying anything. But I want to try this hat out. I'm broadering with the hat. This is an old hat that I had anyway. So I'm going to play with it and see. And um, I don't know how you guys Walmart is. But I know my Walmart, they had some of these baseball caps on sale, on clearance. Not on sale, but on clearance for like a dollar. If I had them in here with me, I'll show, I would have shown it to you guys, but I don't. I already have stored them in the closet. With all my other to-do list stuff. But I'm going to try this white hat that I've already had for a while. And I'm going to use some neon pink embroidery thread. Okay, where is... Oh. Okay, it's right here. Alright, let me go ahead and thread this bad boy up. Alright. Like I said, if you don't know how to um, wind or thread your thread in the sewing machine, I do have a video on how to do that. And of course, my thread just got lost in here. Oh, it's not my night. I'm lost in the saw show. But, um, I'm just doing this. All right, and uh, like I said, this one has a self threader. Well, to thread the needle. Um, I certainly have too much pink thread, so I'll take this off and I'm going to wind some of the back now because this is just entirely too much. And I don't want to waste no thread. But anyway, I'm just winding some of it back up. So when I do start, it won't be so long. I have a long tail that I'll have to cut. Alright, let me see where I'm at. That's good. Alright, let me put this back on. And this is what I'm going to be stitching out on my monogram CSD. Let me pack my thread back in the box. And like I said, this is my first time doing a hat embroidery. And like I said, I've had this machine for... I think I got it like in September because my birthday was nope I'm sorry I got the this serger for my birthday I got this maybe like maybe two years ago and I've really been using it for sewing I haven't really did a lot of embroidery I've just been playing around with it um but like I said this is my first hat and I'm going to stitch it out with you guys and You'll see all my mistakes or whatever. I'm pretty sure I'll make mistakes. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. I'm not even sure if I have this even centered right so that my S can be centered right there on that little pleat line. But we'll see. And I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead. The light's red, so that means I can't do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down. Hmm, that sounds crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and push this to start and hopefully you guys I hope I don't make any mistakes I hope I got that bang out of my I know you probably can't hear me but I'm sorry because this is loud my husband he's in the living room he's falling asleep on the chair so I'm not bothering him but my little girl she's back here sleeping in my bed she went back to school on Thursday because what they decided to do they're going to do two days a week if I decided that I want her to do two days a week which I do because we're not really here during the daytime to help her 
you know, with her schooling. So, the two days a week should help out a lot with her. Oh, man, I hope this thing is centered. Oh, okay. And the reason that it stopped, it didn't go on because I broke the letters up. Because I wanted to resize them different sizes. So, it's got it to where it's going to stop between each letter versus it's going on. But... Anyway, if I wanted to change the thread, I could have changed the thread, you know, for different colors. I could have had the C1 color, the S1 color, and the D another color. So far, it's looking good. I probably should have stopped and cut this jump stitch. stop it and I'm gonna cut the jump stitch because I don't want this jump stitch to get caught up in anything so I got these I can't get in there with these because of this brim of the hat so I'm gonna use the duck bill ones all right that clipped it out the way clip and what I don't really clip I will get it when I finish and what I like about this thing, you can stop it in the middle of stitching, and it goes right back to it. I don't know how much of this y'all can see, but so far, so good. I'm so proud of myself. But of course, I'll see the final results when it's finished to see if it's actually centered. I can't stand something to be crooked or lopsided or whatever. Even if I see it, I feel like everybody can see it. Yeah, I have a problem with that. I will do, I will waste 10 hats or whatever material I need to waste just to get it perfect. All right, it's going to stop again. And I'm going to start it again so it can stitch out my D. as y'all can see I tried to put the camera as close in as I could and that's another thing I need to work on my videos with setting the camera angles and all that good stuff because I don't know what I'm doing with these cameras but, um, hopefully I'm doing something right some reason on my D it just picked up the bobbin thread like some of my pink is in here I don't know if y'all can see it but I'm wondering if I can go back to the D can I I don't know this is to mess me up y'all how do I do this oh gosh I know somebody was showing me that you can go back some steps too far well, I'm gonna still go with it shoot hold on go back 10 Okay, and I'm gonna just see. All 
you start it back on the end of the S. So, I think what happened is, like I said, that pink got tangled up. And I guess it stopped rolling because I didn't see it, you know, moving. Alright, so now. Let me go ahead and cut this while I'm at it. This just took me for a loop, y'all. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start over with the D. And hopefully this time, it gets the pink red next time. All I see is white bob and white bob. And I'm like, what? Where's my pink red? But um, I'm trying it again. I think it's working this time. I should have taken a picture of it so you guys could see. Okay, yeah, it's covering up that white thread. Thank goodness. Oh, God, I had me panicking over here. Didn't know that you could go back. I watched somebody's video, I don't know who it was, and they showed how you could go back. All right, you guys, I'm nervous. I'm ready to see the oh, the final thing. All right, let me take it off the loop. I already went. No, nope, I didn't lift it up. Slide it from under here. And so far, um, look good, okay? Just trying to get it to focus. But I'm going to take it off of here. Just give me a second. And like they say, you pretty much have to already see where it's not even, it's not centered. Nope. Oh, well. Like I said, it's, it's trial and error. Um, it's not centered, but for the first time, I would say it's not bad for a hat, because this should have been over a little bit more, the S should have been a little bit more centered down this line right here than what I had it, the D should have been over way further than what is, what, where it's at, but I would say for a first time, it's not bad right and once I go and clean up all these jump stitches or whatever like all these it will look a whole lot better but give me a second I'll go clean them up and I'll show y'all what it looks like Alright y'all, I'm sorry I didn't mean to be quiet. I forgot I was videotaping. It's like you got somebody on hold on the telephone. I should be talking, but anyway, I don't know what you guys stitched on this Friday the 13th, but this is what I did. I stayed in while well, I worked earlier today. I got off. Went to go when I was going to go to Walmart and pick up some things, but... My husband went and picked up some things, but um, and then of course I waited till it gets late to start coming in my room and crafting. Of course, that's just what I do. All right, it's not too bad, y'all. Not too shabby either, but this I'll probably throw on if I gotta make a Walmart trip or something. But it's totally, totally off centered. It's not centered at all. But I must say, for the first time, I've stitched out a hat. This is good. All right, you guys. As always, be blessed. Thank you for watching my channel. Have a blessed night.